Hey there, it's Rochelle Norman from Soundscaping Source. Welcome to our video series on how to get better sleep through music. I've been a board certified music therapist for almost 14 years now and so I have worked with lots of clients who are dealing with pain, who are dealing with anxiety or those thoughts that spiral out of control. I have um, worked with people at the end of life who have a lot of discomfort in their bodies because of disease processes and who are really needing a good night's sleep. I also work with a lot of folks who have dementia and who because of their cognitive decline, um, their sleep is interrupted and sometimes they're awake in the middle of the night and they're asleep during the day and they have a hard time um, getting enough rest to be able to keep functioning. So sleep is a big topic of concern for a lot of the folks that I work with. So what I want to do is to share with you some what we know as music therapists from our clinical experience and then what we know in the research about how music can help with better sleep. I'm going to give you some of that information so that you can benefit personally by getting better, better sleep for yourself. And also, if you're caring for other people, you can use this information to be more intentional in how you choose and share music to help people relax and get a good night's sleep when it's time to be sleeping. All right, so I've got a lot of good stuff for you in this challenge ahead. Now, today in part one, we are talking about um, the big reasons why music can be such an effective tool in helping people relax and fall asleep. Two big reasons that I want to share with you. The first one is it's all about the, the cultural resource that we have in music. Music has been part of human culture for millennia. Basically every culture that we know about has had music as a part of it. There's some evidence now, some speculation that music evolved before speech did when it came to human beings. So music is something that is deeply human. It's at the core of who we are as human beings and human culture groups. And so it's something that can be so ubiquitous that we forget that it's there, that it's available to us, that it's this tool that we can access, this resource that we can tap into to help us with things like getting better sleep. Now, if you think about, um, uh, from a cultural perspective, about how music has helped with sleep over, like I said, millennia, music has been part of healing rituals and healing procedures, processes, for basically forever, right, in many cultures across the world. Um, music, even on a very simple and intimate level, music is something that we share with our babies. You know, we, we sing lullabies to our babies to help them fall asleep. That's something that happens all over the world, too. We sing songs to our children to help them calm down when they're upset. We access music for ourselves to help ourselves relax. So once we recognize how powerful music can be, how, how, what this enormous cultural resource is, then we can start being more intentional about using music to help ourselves with things like getting better sleep. Okay, so the first point is that music is this deep, really deep, profound cultural resource that we have that we just need to tap into. The second part, the second thing I want you to know is that setting aside the cultural value of music and all of the intuitions and things that we have about how to bring music into our relationships, all of which is really is all we need, in my opinion, sometimes. Um, we also now have a lot of scientific evidence that shows us why music can be so helpful and healing and helping people relax and ultimately helping people get better sleep. So we have this objective scientific evidence to back up all those things we already knew about how helpful music can be. So one thing is that there's this fantastic machine called an fMRI that allows scientists to take pictures of people's brains while they're listening to music. fMRI studies show us that the limbic system in the brain is very active while people are listening to music. The limbic system is further down in the brain. It's below all the cognitive, higher level cognitive processes. Sometimes you hear it described as the monkey brain or the lizard brain. 
And this is the part of the brain where a lot of emotional processing happens, where the, flight or, uh, the fight or flight response occurs. There's a lot of memory wrapped up in there. Um, a lot of sensory processing. So sensory processing emotions and memory all kind of mold around in there together with music. So music is something that can help to tap into that part of the brain and help you direct one way or the other. We also have evidence that music, listening to music can release feel-good neurochemicals in your brain, things like serotonin and dopamine. And we have a lot of evidence that shows that listening to music can bring about physical, physiological changes. There's an effect on your blood pressure, an effect on your pulse and your respiration rate and the levels of hormones in your, in your blood and things, all those things that we try to measure to show us objectively how we're feeling. So we have a lot of scientific evidence to show that music can be a powerful tool in helping people to relax and get better sleep. All right? So just so you know, all that grounding is there, all that knowledge is there. And when we go into our next video in the series, I'm going to start giving you some more practical tools for implementing this vast cultural resource of music for the purpose of getting a better night's sleep. Okay. So that's our video for today. Tomorrow, or in the next video, in part two, we're going to be talking about how music can help you relax on a physical level, how it can help your body relax. So you can look forward to that one. For now, I have a question for you that I'd like for you to leave an answer below this video. I would like to know how you are using music now to help yourself relax, or how are you using music to help somebody that you care for to relax. Leave a comment below the video. Tell me what your experience has been so far, and I will see you in part two.